Hello everybody and welcome back to The Sims 3 Sunlit Tides Part 30. Um, somebody pointed out to me yesterday. I'm not sure what happened. But, um, my two university parts did not have any sound. So I have those set to private at the moment. Uh, so that I can mess with the audio. Um, basically I'm just going to do a voiceover. Um, but I, I really don't know what happened. Uh, somehow my microphone got muted. I don't understand how, because I had to go through like all these settings to figure out why it wasn't working. And I don't know. I have no idea what happened. But uh, those two parts will be back up soon with commentary. It's just going to be a voiceover though. Um, like I had to do with one part of this LP. Um, so, Peter, stop singing in the shower. I can hear you downstairs. Oh, there's little Cheryl. There goes Cheryl. Um, anywho, uh, today, well, this morning, my teeth really, really hurt. Um, it's because of my wisdom teeth, they're trying to push my other teeth out of the way, and it just really hurts. And I'm still a little stuffy, and I uh, still cough a little. So, you're not eating leftovers, but you can still empty out the nasty food from the... There is nothing in your way. Oh, apparently that went bad too. Damn it. Okay. Just have some juice, I guess. She wants to go for a joy ride. We can totally do that. Probably not gonna have a sleepover anytime soon, though. But up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Cuddle time. This is the moodlet that I uh, almost knocked over my coffee. This is the moodlet that she gets from having a teddy bear in her inventory while she sleeps. It's called Cuddle Time. Teddy bears make excellent sleeping companions. I only wish that, you know, it actually showed her, like, sleeping with the teddy bear. Because, seriously, how cute would that be? You're not throwing a party. Is that guy just, like, watching our television? No. Um, he needs to hold meetings. And she needs to work on her logic skill, which I don't think she can do at work. Oh, apparently the school bus is here. And this guy is just gonna watch TV. So. And we have mail, apparently. So I guess we're just gonna watch Mr. Thomas Lucas. See what he does. Um, let's chat with our coworkers. Why not? And she can. She got any friends? She has like a friend. Let's uh, meet some new friends. Well, actually, let's just talk to the one friend we have for a little while. And she wants to get on the honor roll. And then we'll work on meeting new friends. But first, she actually needs a friend. Um, I guess Miss Selena Grantham will be it. It's hard to collect rent from roommates sharing your house. Oh, it's time to collect rent. Oh my god. You have earned 507 simoleons in rent. Cool. Not like we really needed a roommate to pay for the rent, but... More or less, it, he just takes up this one very girly looking room. And he's very, not very good looking. He's got wicked blonde hair and a really messed up haircut. And he's wearing a plaid shirt with blue overalls. I mean, come on. The guy has no sense of style. And he sleeps in a girl's room. Hey, you're cleaning my house. She wanted to clean that counter. That's not fair. Empty our fridge and take out the trash. <laughs> Can we, like, tell him to do stuff? 
No, we can dismiss him. Hmm. Oh, for a second I thought he was going to clean our toilet. He doesn't even make his own bed. Like, I know why they don't make their beds, but come on now. <laughs> Does he even, like, leave, like, ever? Oh, is he leaving? No, he's just standing on the porch and going back inside. Oh my god, does he ever leave or does he just sit in the house all day? Oh my god. I guarantee you, if we had a pet, it would never be lonely because he would play with it. Like, all the time. I guarantee you. No, we're not buying a seesaw. Yes, you can see Cheryl age up well. And apparently our fridge is full of nasty food. Again! Are you going to clean up your nasty plate, dude? Oh! Oh, he is. Will you fix broken things, too? I think he just likes to stand on our front porch. It's kind of creepy. Just a little. It's just a little creepy. Not that creepy, but it's a little creepy. <laughs> um. <gasps> we have a chess table with no chairs. What? I did not know we had a chess table. I did not know that that was there. Stupid walls, this is your fault. Let's get some nice chairs. Oh, how about this chair? That works. <coughs> Yes, I'm still getting over my cold. But at least I can talk and I sound better. I just cough a lot and whatnot. So. Yeah, like I said, very girly room. <laughs> Maybe I should have specified that we wanted a woman. I don't know. I think that would have just been bad with Peter's rep. But, you know... That's just me. And Peter has left work with 1,799 simoleons. Holy crap. There are no dance clubs in Sunlit Tides, dude. Uh, come home. Jesus. Um... I don't really know what to do with him. Hmm. Discuss conflict with Eugene Carnegie to see what the issues are. We will get improved coworker relationships, relationship with the boss, and career performance. Yes. Um. I don't know what to do with him. Maybe I'll send him to Jungle Jim's gym. <clears throat> I haven't been there in a while. Pretty sure I've been there before in this LP, but you know. Who can tell with as many community lots as there are in this LP? We need to buff you up, dude. You're getting a little scrawny. Just a little scrawny. So we're going to have you go pump some iron. Until you've improved your athletic skill. And then you can go simply take a shower. And then we're going to go out here. And do some... 
let's do a, a revitalizing mud bath. And she's on her way home. Pillow fight with Selena. No, probably not. Um, but you do need to do your homework. Oh, I forgot she's got a stupid imaginary friend off. Um, well, first do your homework. And then I want you to eat some salad. Clementine has left work. Oh, uh, Peter's been invited to Daniel Pleasant's party. It's a regular party that is formal attire. Um, no thank you. But then she can, um, play with snuggles. I'm pretty sure I told you to go talk to this person. Where are you? She's running, 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 running somewhere. That is a lovely color right down there. That blue, it's just gorgeous. Are we running to this park that's like up here or something? Or what the hell are we doing? Yes, okay. We are running to this park that is up here somewhere. Where is this person? There's like no one here. Oh my god. Oh, look, old people. <laughs> oh man. Who are they? Tele Hale, Ethel Carnegie, discuss lab issues with Martin Pepper. Ugh. Okay. Oh, this could take a while. Let's just see how he's doing in his his lovely little mud bath. That does look lovely. Eh, freezer bunny. <laughs> He's got cucumbers on his eyes. It's kind of whoa! It got dark. Why is it dark in here? Oh, because there's only one light. <laughs> and this was where that stupid thing spawned. The weatherstone. It spawned right on this lot here. Oh my word! She's still doing her homework. Oh my god. Apparently, it takes forever for children to do their homework. That's not his house. This is his house. You can jog here when you're done. Um. Oh my god, where is she going? Peter is feeling younger and more revitalized. Um, yes, the revitalizing mud bath will take age will take years off of your Sims life. It will. Or days, I guess. So, um yeah, that is pretty cool that the revitalizing mud bath does that. I uh, actually found I figured out that it did that totally by accident. Because I had one of my sims take a revitalizing mud bath and that popped up and I was like, oh, I can make my sims younger using this object. <laughs> oh, we have to get friendlier with this dude. Damn it. Charming introduction. This kind of sucks. Ask about career. Ask about alma mater. Uh, discuss work, get to know, um, talk about movies, 
And then let's try that again. And she's playing with her imaginary friend doll. Mm, making friends. Playtime with a best friend is a boundless joy. Keeping each other happy and in good company. She's playing with it right in the freaking kitchen. Go figure. And he's over there. When he gets home, he can go have some porcini risotto. And then I guess, I don't know, he can just go watch TV. How's she doing? Become good friends with someone. Okay. Oh, come on. I want to get her home. She needs to eat and go to sleep. Oh, my God. Good thing she has tomorrow off. She can work on her logic. Because she needs... She needs three more logic skill points. Oh, wow. We're already friends with him. Holy crap. That was, uh, easy. So dark. What? Throw a party and invite Martin to get cooperation. Okay, we'll do that tomorrow. She needs to go home. Is he home yet? Yes. Uh, what is this? Inner peace. It's just like regular peace, but, you know, internal. From Bath. I think that's from the, um... The, uh... Mud Bath. You can go eat some leftovers. And then you can go to sleep. Um, oh... That's right. We had mail to get, didn't we? Get the mail. Um, not really much we can do for our job. Um, so, yeah. I guess he's just more or less just going to watch TV. <laughs> oh, she's getting tired. Well, it is like 10 o'clock. We probably should send her to bed. So she's not, you know, completely thrown off her, seriously, her sleep schedule. I mean, Clementine just got a gift in the mail from Thomas. The note attached to it reads, I was thinking about you and thought you might like this. Call me. You live with us, you tard, and stop hitting on the wife. <laughs> oh my god. Like, seriously. Wow. Just wow. Like, oh my god. Really? Wow. Ugh. Dream about being a dinosaur. Oh my god. Let's chat with Clementine. Um. No, I want him to take out the trash. Take out the trash. And then... You can go to the bathroom, and then you can go to sleep. Um, that's pretty much it for this part, guys. Um, please remember to subscribe, comment, and rate. Also, check out my Facebook page. I'm posting frequently there, and pretty much nowhere else. Um, <laughs> kind of lost interest in all the others, but you know. Um, also, if you have the new SimCity game, please send me a friend request on Origin. My username is ribbitrabbit20. Um, and, or no, it's ribbitrabbit22. Yeah, I'm a dork. Um, but, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.